bring a responsible end to the war in Iraq. So we stop spending billions each month rebuilding their country when we should be rebuilding ours. Stop the tape. This is brazen. Because we now know that Barack Obama, when he was in Baghdad in July, sought, to, uh, sought a deal with the Iraqi foreign minister for them to suspend any plan on the withdrawal of U.S. troops until after the presidential election. He has been running around campaigning. He's going to get these troops out of there. He's going to get them out of there now. It's the first thing he's going to do. He's going to, he's, this has been, a, it was an unjust war, shouldn't have been fought. He raised a lot of money on this basis from the, from the kook fringe. He goes over to Baghdad and says, hey, wait a minute, I don't want, I, well, can you guys wait? And this, this borders on treason. This is something that McCain ought to be hammering. He is not allowed to do this. He is not entitled to do this, to go negotiate on behalf of the United States as a presumptive president, which is what he was on that trip. He went to Berlin as a presumptive president, president in waiting, and to go strike a deal to tell the Iraqis, hey, hang on. Now, I want to, uh, folks, let me tell you something. I mentioned this the first day I heard of this story, and it's been confirmed. Amir Tahari reported this in the New York Post, and he has confirmed it in another column today. The Obama campaign confirmed it as well when they sought to deny it. It's now been revealed that they spent five hours trying to figure out how to respond to this. Because they were caught. There was a man named Gary Sick, highly respected, at Columbia University back in the early 90s, who wrote a book filled with abject lies that George W. Bush, George H. W. Bush, had flown to Paris on the eve of the 1980 election, struck a deal with the Iranians to make sure the American hostages were held until after the election and then released when Ronald Reagan either had been elected or was inaugurated. And the drive-by media and Tom Foley, the Speaker of the House at the time, this is before he started stealing food off of airline flights he was on when he retired, he said the seriousness of this charge is such that we must investigate it. He said, despite the fact that there's limited evidence here, the seriousness of the charge means we must investigate it. Well, we not only have a serious charge, we have confirmation of the serious charge. There needs to be an investigation of what Obama was doing. Now, he puts this thing, I don't know when he put this together, this two-minute ad. But if he put this ad together after this Iran story, uh, uh, this Iraq story came out, this is foolhardy. Because there are enough people out there that are going to blow smithereens this whole concept that we need to get out of Iraq, we need to get out now, and we need to bring it so that we can start saving money that we're spending in Iraq and spend here. He wants to keep the troops in the United States in Iraq until at least 2011 or 2012. He, and, and why? Because he wants to be able to claim he brought victory. That's what all this is about. Before Bush leaves office, if they can secure defeat, they'll do it. If they could blame it on Bush, they tried for a year and a half. But there's a guy that got in the way of that. His name is General David Petraeus. And they tried to destroy him as well. So now that their attempt to secure defeat failed and hang the noose of failure around the neck of George W. Bush, now all of a sudden, what does Obama want? He wants us to stay in Iraq. And he went over and talked to the Iraqis about it in violation of U.S. law. And he wants to be able to thus get credit for bringing the troops home. He wants to get credit for victory bringing the troops home. It's all a scam, folks. This is a great example of the fraudulent, phoniness, total Plastic, but in a good time, rock and rollerness. That is Barack Obama.